All right, welcome to our weekly yearly cycle updates, where we're talking about what's going on on God's calendar during this time of the year. Now, a lot of these yearly cycle updates, they come from our book, The Miracle Year, where the last half of that book, we walk through week by week throughout the year, just talking about what to expect on God's calendar during the different times of the year. Now, in the end of January, early February, it seems like God often starts reminding me about health. And one of the most important aspects of health for us to understand is that we're a three-part being. We're spirit, we're soul, we're physical body. And we often get so focused on the nutrition and the fitness and the physical aspects of health that we forget that the spiritual and the mental, the emotional aspects of health are really just as important, probably more important. Think about it, that's two-thirds of your being, spirit and soul. And so attending to those things, spending time in God's word, Praying, spending time in the presence of the Lord, managing our mindset and emotions. Those are all very important parts of our health. And so we're going to take communion over this today. Just asking God to teach us about this, to help us to understand it on a deeper level. And to practically apply it. To do the things that we need to do to be healthy spirit, soul, and body. Let's pray, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I'm just so grateful. Grateful to have you in our lives. Grateful grateful for Jesus and all that he's done for us. Lord, thank you. We get to have this connection with you. We get to be one with you, Father. We get to have a personal relationship with you. And Father, I'm asking for your help. Help us to understand this connection of how you made us, how you designed us. Spirit, soul, body, how it all works together. How to keep the spiritual and the mental and emotional parts of us healthy and thriving. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, I thank you that we get this opportunity to remember we've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. Father, I thank you that we get to have this covenant relationship with you. So I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and take our juice. All right, so our filter for this week. Remember, our filters are short things, and we just keep rewriting over and over throughout the week. I like to do it at the top of our workbook or journal. It's a spirit, soul, and body. Keep reminding yourselves of this over and over again. 